Good morning, Nuggets. It is your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. And I am doing the Gemini. No, forgive me, forgive me. You may be. Uh, you may be speaking with a Gemini. Um, I am doing the Taurus. My apologies. The Taurus reading for July 2020. Okay. All right, Taurus. Ooh, there it goes already. I'm not taking all. Of it. Well, heck. all right, Taurus. This is what came out for you. If I ain't got you by Miss Alicia Keys. More Than Words by Extreme. Sorry. Uh, oh. Like You'll Never See Me Again by Alicia Keys. Okay, Miss Keys is coming through for the tours. I Would Die For You by Prince. This is a lot of devotion. Next Lifetime by Miss Erica Badu, Mother Erica. I can't call, I, I won't call her auntie. That's mother. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, Taurus. So, this is, this is, I'm, I'm just hearing devotion. Um, now it's, it's devotion by, uh, earth, wind, and fire. But yeah, and let me, let's see what your underlying is. Your underlying is yearning for your love by the Gap Band. Oh, that's so weird to try to do that like that. I know better. Sorry. Here you go. Learning, yeah, bleh. yearning for your love by the Gap Band. You guys are in it. Now I'm hearing um, uh, Uncle Charlie's In It To Win. And if you don't know who Uncle Charlie is, that is um, Charlie Wilson from The Gap Band. So this is a lot of love here, guys. Okay. And since I saw it, I have to take it to darn it congratulations so this is this to me speaks to energy of this now this is your underlying energy this Lord Jesus sorry and this congratulations was, was underneath it so this feels to me like energy of the one who got away. Okay. Go listen to these. Listen to these. But this speaks to <clears throat> um, still longing and yearning for this person. This, you know... If I don't have you, I don't have anything. That's kind of, that, that's, that's, this is extreme. Okay, so I'm, I'm, this, some of this is not a good, a good energy. So I need you to raise that vibration for us, okay? So some of this is extreme and I need you to raise that vibration, okay? And if you've listened to this song, this song is about, um, Miss Alicia Keys losing her grandmother. Um, but on the surface, it's, you know, um, it's about a lost love. And then we come to, okay, guys, I need y'all to clear that. I need y'all to clear that. Okay? I need y'all to clear that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I promise it's okay. 
Um, everything happens for a reason, all right? I want you to know that everything happens for a reason and it is not to hurt or harm, but to grow and progress and get you moving forward into the space that you are supposed to be in, okay? So this feels to me like energy of someone who has semen who has and this could very well be a loved one so please forgive me it's not just you know a significant other um this could very well be um someone who has lost a loved one and for you i i do send you love and my condolences but i also see this as someone who is crying out for help that is the energy that I am getting with with this. Um, if I ain't got you, um, now this could also be in its highest vibration of recognizing that you you were in this and you almost let this person get away from you, but you are you know no i'm not letting you get away from me I, I am and you are expressing yourself more than words love is more than words it's um it's actions it's it's i am you know like i'll never i'm taking these actions like i'm if i never see you again i could never see you again I'm not going to not tell you how I feel and not express myself. You know, I am completely devoted to you. Um, and, you know, this is our next lifetime. So I'm claiming you now. I missed you before. Okay, Taurus, you're saying that I missed you before. But I'm not going to let this opportunity with you pass me by again. So, okay. So, both of those energies, I, I wish and send you all love, okay? All right. Let's see what the wild unknown animal spirits have to say. This is crying out in the night and making something known. Your voice being heard in the dark. Standing up on your pedestal or up on the microphone and speaking your words and speaking your truth. A nightingale. You're speaking out loud in the dark. You're calling out from the dark and speaking truth and saying what it is that needs to be said. Okay? This is my lurker card. Okay? The raccoon. This is the lurker. We're not lurking. That's creepy. 
even if it's not even if it's you know the sweet secret admirer energy nope we big kids we're not even big kids we're not children anybody watching my channel is an adult or at the least 18 so we're speaking words okay we are not yes we're we yes we can telepathically communicate we all have the ability yeah we're we're not doing that we are speaking words and saying out of our mouth what we need what we want what we have to say in truth and not hiding our truth we're not hiding we're not scurrying in the dark anymore we're coming out of that okay what does tt say this is all the stuff we've been through when this is our underlying energy we've gone through all of this okay we're not holding on to this energy of scurrying scurrying about in the dark Yes, we can still see. Yeah. But it's so much better in the daytime. It's so much better. The sun comes out. You can see a lot more. Okay? So if this is you hiding some truth or hiding some gift of yours that you have, don't hide it anymore speak it speak it out cry out if you need help cry out ask for it okay if you have something to say say it even if you're afraid even if you feel small this could very well also be a child coming to you and saying something that you need to hear, okay? This could be your inner child needing to speak and no longer hiding what's hurt you or what you need to say. So speak out, okay? Um, Taurus, let's see what the... Brian, Brian Frouse Fairies have to say. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. All right. <clears throat> Clear your throat. Get you some water. Got to say something. Say it. Speak up. But speak in truth. No longer in shadow, okay? And if you're watching, if you're watching someone, don't be a creep about it, okay? Serious, I am so serious, y'all don't understand. That's what I'm feeling, so therefore, all right, your feelings might be hurt, you might be triggered. It's okay. Get over it. Okay? Alright. What do we got? Oop, there's three. Four. Ha! Alright, first we have mm -hmm. Guardian at the Gate. This is um, coming out of the um, go, uh, going to the next level. This is leveling up and, and seeing that you know, this is where you've started, but the, the gateway, the next level, is very narrow. It's very narrow, but it is possible, and you've done it. You've done it. So claim that. This is what you're doing in, in July. You're claiming that and going to the next level, okay? You've gotten some understanding. Look, do you see that? Hold on. Some of you could be traveling. Do you see the Eiffel Tower there? And this could be um, Paris, 
or you know whatever or king's island because they have one there too okay just saying ohio same all right taurus but hey you've achieved something or you're needing to so that is your focus for july okay what's our next card the next card we have is oh this is love this is hold on i gotta scoot up all right there we go a little bit this is the singer of chalice the singer of chalices this is the ace of cups glorified to like a thousand because this is galactic ethereal god love this is god's cup of love okay now whether you have this for another person which i don't think is this this is putting some other person before god and yourself so if that is the case we're not doing that but if this is for this is this is for yourself in the highest recognition of yourself and then that to another that's awesome and you expressing that and living in that truth okay what's next solace this is fire this is the sun the actual sun in recognition of um the divine masculine energy within you and being completely um illuminated within yourself of who you are that's what that's the energy that um that solace is bringing these are really really big big transformational wow. okay so just so you know this is the facing card because it has a number on it but this is the back okay so straight on upside down front or back this is topsy turbans this is okay my friends my friends should this be an obsession of some kind not healthy okay all right however if this is you can't tell up from down because you are so freaking lit with love and devotion and complete I can't believe this is actually happening kind of energy then my goodness more power to you what's our underlying energy my th this is taking a while sorry guys I'm flashing now. this is something that you have been going over and have put in the work Mike the Meyer Mancer speaks of details and preparation and having put in the work so I'm just going to be curious and look at the card under Mike and see what that is geo the slow so this is something that you really really put your your heart and soul into and, and you're scared you're like oh my gosh should I should not should I should not should I should not it's cute okay that made me feel better okay that energy made me feel better because if I was getting creepy stuff for a second there so maybe we've transmuted that energy and if so wonderful Keep it going. All right, Taurus. I am going to pull a uh, Barbary um, Zodiac Oracle just because we're having the um, eclipse on the 5th. 
which is this weekend and this gives really really good big energy stuff like planetary stuff that we need to focus on and you know that big perspective stuff so I like that for this okay so for the Taurus collective okay so that's Pluto. This is big, big, big change. Big, huge shift. Freaking ginormous. Because right now, Pluto is retrograde. So, this is you clearing up and coming into understanding of some big life changing things that could have possibly been um, from childhood. But um, this is really, really getting understanding of how and why you blocked yourself off from certain things and there was a hole Woo! wow good job Taurus master number 22 go look that up angel number 22 go look that up okay this is dealing with some deep feminine energy being healed for you um, the higher aspects this is um, you know third eye and beyond being illuminated I'm going to even say down into the throat chakra because he actually has which looks like to me if you guys can see on his chest that kind of looks like a sword that he's got he's got folded He's, his arms are folded but in front of him looks like a knife but I'm sure that's just you know whatever his chest or whatever but anyway that you know it's truth it is deep deep cutting truth about yourself this is acknowledgement acknowledgement of the the things that have gone on within you and how you are showing up now and it's it's freeing look at the wings these look like wings to me the headdress looks like wings to me so this is freeing to you this is an, a grand epiphany for you you don't like this your arms are folded they're, they're crossing and you don't want to see this but this is things that that need to be seen so that great grand levels of growth can happen this is your underlying energy, which is, you know, Sagittarius is all about the, you know, the exploration of a thing. Okay. But in this, you know, he always gives me this come at me defensive kind of Sagittarian energy. Okay. Um, and sometimes it's it's not that it's just being free and saying you know what it is what it is and I'm going on okay so just know that, that everything you see both sides to everything and make sure that you see that within yourself and you give people the same level of respect that you want to have okay and this could also be you letting go of um, some kind of um, energetic need to prove it. That sword up there just, you know, it speaks to me of severing the tie and coming out of the fire unscathed. It's not on fire at all, but that planet back there, which looks like Mars, is there's all this smoke around his feet but he's still standing and able to move forward 
with this grounded look at his headdress this grounded knowledge of yeah the world may be upside down but I got this Your world may have been turned upside down. Or it will be this month. But it is on you to ground your energy and come into the understanding of just what needs to be let go and be freed so that Taurus can move forward and not, you know. Sometimes this Sagittarian energy is not look it's not the business i'm i'm just gonna tell you it's i'm sorry but i'm not gonna lie to y'all i love you too much all right pluto pluto is associated with the roman god pluto who ruled the underworld Small Pluto carries a lot of important human experiences, nothing less than life, death, rebirth, and sex. Tied in, this, um, tied in with these ideas are issues of power, control, and as well as finding personal freedom from confining mindsets. I'm not even going to say anything else. That was just confirmation. We can rank on research too. Y'all can hear. Yeah. Fire mutable. Key phrase I perceive. Fire's strong drive strives to stand out from the crowd as it rests in the mutable, go with the flow qualities. The key phrase I perceive means there, there is motivation to move around to discover your own individuality while finding your place in the world. In this situation, ask, how can I best be true to myself? Be honest with yourself and with the rest of the world. Sagittarian energy is said to be a mile long and an inch deep as well as self-involved. Slow down so that you can perceive the depth as well as the breadth of the situation. Avoid careless unkindness. And I'm done with that. Okay? So, that's what July is going to be working on for you. Toys. Alright, so. TT likes to end it on a lighter note. So, I am going to pull a card for you from the Tarot of Sexual Magic from your significant other. And this could be a message between you two the energy you share or um, a message from you to that person or vice versa okay take it how it resonates hmm. I'm hearing princes I would die for you so that was one of our songs okay Chariot and the Eight of Swords. Okay. So, you're afraid to move forward. But you... You see that in the Eight of Swords up in the corner there? The devil back there? That's being trapped in your mind or at least having a little small inkling of some sort of fear or angst or anxiety or some low vibrational energy about something that does not involve you and moving forward from that between you know the two of you don't be so obsessed about it either you're going to do it or you're not either you're going to move forward with or without this person but obsessing over the movement either having to move on from this person or moving together moving forward and taking the the leap of faith to 
to speak to this person obsessing over making the move makes no sense either you're going to do it or you're you're not going to do it but having angst about it or you know obsessively watching but this this look 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 at here look at here look at this look this woman is not in any way to be disturbed is she she is at peace she's at peace and you in your obsession want to disturb that for your pleasure or you did it's possible that you did now whether that been for pleasure or for pain take it how it resonates but you need to make the decision on which way you want to go you've been vulnerable before you can do it again but you have to make the decision on which way you want to go because you cannot be in this energy of what once was or what you fear could or could not happen in overthinking it that's just not that's not being progressive okay and the underlying is the seven of chalices this is making choices and having decisions and stuff to make well get your mind right Get out your feelings and get your mind right. All right? Thank you so much, Taurus. Um, if you need to book a personal with me, all of the information will be down in the description box below. I do send you love, peace, blessings, and light. Take care.